Welcome to Lumion 9 Tutorial 6. In this tutorial, we will create some images of the project we created in the previous tutorials. To create images, there's a special section in Lumion. It's called Photo Mode. The whole user interface has changed and optimized for the creation of images. The way you navigate to find the optimal position is exactly the same as in the Build Mode with the Q, W, E, A, S, D keys and the mouse to turn around. In addition, there's an option to change the focal length of the camera. 35 is around a normal lens angle. Now let's find a nice position to create a rendered image. You can save a position by going to one of these slots and clicking on the Store Camera button. So this position is saved and immediately we can make a rendered photo for example desktop resolution and immediately a rendered image is created that we can look at as you can see the image quality is slightly better than what we saw in the build mode and the photo mode now we can improve the quality even further very quickly by clicking a Style, which is a collection of special effects that have been chosen by our artists that have a very quick result. For example, daytime or realistic or overcast or sketch. watercolor. Now what you see on the left here is a collection of effects which can be individually added, switched off, changed. For example, you click on one of these effects and then you have a slider to influence some of these properties. With this one, go back to the effects stack you can switch it off, disable the whole effect. Some of them don't have a visible effect in the viewport, but they do have an effect on render quality. So what you see in the viewport here is not necessarily exactly the same as what you see in the rendered image. Let's go for daytime. As you can see in this case, the sun is at a different position than what we've set in build mode. That's because there was an effect added in this stack called Sun, which allows you to change the sun position. So you can click on any of these effects and change them to another position. So we can either try to find back the sun we wanted in the first place, or we disable the effect to get back to what we set it in the build mode. Undo the changes we made to the standard style. Let's now make a render with this daytime style. So the rendering now takes slightly longer, but you can see on the background a number of images are created with different lightings, and these are merged together. So this is the new one, and this was the previous one. So you can see quite a significant improvement by just adding a style. Now let's go to another position and take another photograph. For example here, we can save it to the second slot, add a style again. Now let's have a closer look at these effects. As we saw, we can disable them or we can change them by clicking on them. For example, exposure. For any slider, if you have a numeric value, 
it's possible to type it in by double-clicking on the slide, backspace, so you have a numerical value. On the menu, the three little stripes here, there are additional options available. So you can copy-paste them, for example, from another image you created, if you want to have exactly the same settings. Color correction. You can easily mess it up as well. The third one is reflection. This one requires some special attention because to achieve the highest quality reflection, you have to set the reflection planes manually and set the preview quality to high. Now there's a default option, which is already reasonable, but the highest possible quality reflections you achieve by adding planes which need to have reflection in the image. So here you can add planes one by one, clicking on the plus, going with the mouse to a reflecting surface, for example, this glass, clicking on it, and the same for other reflecting surfaces. But calculating reflections takes a lot of processing time. So as soon as you go over about four or five of these, the render time can increase drastically. Now let's make another render. Now if you made a lot of changes, for example, adding the reflection planes and you want them also to be used in another camera position, you can copy either the individual effect, like we saw before, or copy the whole stack of effects. Go to your other position and paste effects. Now all the reflection planes are pasted into this image so that we'll have the same effect over here. If you click on the photo position and go back to the build mode, that position is taken over in build mode, but not with the camera lens settings. The build mode has a lot wider angle lens than what you've set in photo mode. You can also save images right from the build mode by pressing control and a number. So if you go back to photo mode, photo three, that's the one we just created in the build mode. And similarly, we can go back to certain positions that we saved in photo mode by pressing shift and then the right number. If you want to render the whole series of images in one go, for example, overnight, if it starts taking too long, that's possible too by clicking on photo set. Here you can say which photos need to be included. Clicking on all of these three will be rendered consecutively. And there's an option for additional output, which can be used, for example, in Photoshop to achieve certain special effects. A depth map, normal map, specular reflection, lighting map, sky alpha, and material ID. So let's have a look how this looks. So here you see all these additional images that were created. Let's have a look at a few of these effects. Instead of choosing one of these styles, we can create one ourselves. Clicking on an effect will bring up the photo effects section where you have also multiple tabs for different effects. So I recommend that you take a close look at each of these to have a good knowledge of what is available in Lumion. An important one, which was added in Lumion 9, is Real Skies. It adds a sky sphere to your project based on photographs of real skies. And the light is taken from this sky sphere. So the sun in the sky sphere is used now to light up your scene. You can change the brightness of the sky box, overall brightness, or select another one. So there are a lot of real skies included in Lumion, and they give a drastically different atmosphere to your image. 
and you can see the same house, the same scene, can have a completely different look and feel. Instead of building up your stack of special effects, one by one this way, you can also start with one of the preset styles and add your own effect yourself, like in this case. So in general, it's a good idea to experiment a lot and don't always fully rely on the viewport because the preview given here is not exactly the same as what you get in a rendered image. These real skies were not available as an option in the build mode and the weather section. But it's still possible to use build mode with real skies in the following way. By clicking here on Build with FX, all the special effects that were loaded in photo mode are shown now in build mode. The performance of build mode goes down because the processing of the special effects. But in some situations, it might be useful to do this. You can change the default name of a photo by double-clicking here. You can create multiple photo sets and switch between them by clicking on the numbers in the bottom left. The number of photo sets will increase automatically once you reach the maximum of 10 photos in one set. Here, some artistic styles are shown. Some people use these in the early stages of a project when not all the materials have been selected yet. It is possible to save a custom style as a file on your PC or a server, so you or your colleagues can use it in later projects. You can introduce a company house style that way. If you want to delete a camera preset, you can do so by double-clicking on this icon. This concludes Lumion 9 Tutorial 6 about creating rendered images. In the next tutorial, we'll look at how to create rendered videos.